Welcome to Dragonfly Trading. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Sunday. Today's video is going to be an update on Bitcoin, ETH, and Maytech as requested. Starting out on my website, right here is where you get my free strategy. You enter your name, email, and you'll automatically have access to the two free videos. Moving on down, this is where you get the cheat sheet for that strategy. I would download this. Moving on down, you can still get into the Discord. Today, this is soon going to be going away. You can still get in on the trial offer. But as soon as this masterclass new one comes out, which is really, honestly, probably today is going to be the last day. It's getting stalled a little bit by me finishing my part the new course better more information more strategies all around i can't say enough about it basically but the new price is going to be 1997 you can still get it on my website for a 75% discount for the 497. I would jump on this. If you have ever considered becoming an independent trader where you do not need to rely on other people to know what the market is going to do, this is the course. Okay, let's move on to Bitcoin. In my prior videos, the one right before this, I went over the weekly time frame and what we don't want to happen, etc. For those of you that are just tuning in and have never watched my videos before, I'm going to go over it quickly and briefly. For those of you who have already seen it, bear with me. So as you can see, this green line here is exactly the same as the relative strength index. It is holding the 40. Over here, it's holding the 40. Just like it did over here. And hopefully my face is not blocking this. Let's move it over just a little, just in case. Okay. When we all thought we were in this descending triangle, it was holding the 40. This first initial drop came right down into the prior fourth wave. We have done the same exact thing over here. Right into the prior fourth wave. Let's talk about quickly what happened over here. Over here, we created an ABC corrective wave, which created a connector. When that happened, we needed a partner for this whole move to the downside. It was able to hold support. But we did it again. And then, because we did that again, we needed a partner for this whole move here to the downside. And that's what happened. So let's talk about over here. What do we want to happen over here? Well, best case scenario, we hold support. Right now as it stands, I do not see a way that we're just going to take out of take off impulsive where we stand right now. So what we want here is the biggest ABC that we can get. Up. We don't want an ABC that looks like this because it will be the same as this one over here and what will happen is we will need a partner for this move to the downside now whether it will hold support or not I cannot say as you can see this took from 
January 29th to April. So we're, we're talking a lot of time here. Every candle here is a week. Okay. I'm just telling you what we don't want to see. What we want to see is a move like this. Because the higher we go, the better so that we can create when we need a partner for this leg, it ends up being a higher low and we create what's called a running flat, which is a very bullish correction. It takes, then we have a chance to get ourselves out of here. Now what we could also do is that this ABC coming up to the upside Make something like this. Oh, come on, commuter. Don't do this to me. It's lagging. It's spinning. Okay. We could range up here and create a triangle. That's a very ugly triangle, but you get the picture here. Okay. We are looking for a fourth wave. Triangles appear in fourth waves. So this could happen. We range up here, create a triangle, compress, and break out. But the whole key to this right now is that we hold the support. I don't really want to see us break that. Because as you can see with the volume profile here, our next major support is down here. We do have some in there. Let's move on down to the daily. As you can see, when we pull this price action over, it's being held by bottom and top here by this big chunk of volume. We do have a little bit sticking out here, which I don't really think will hold it. We have some sticking out here, which is in this block of volume, but the major support comes in right here, which is sitting at the 20K area. So if we break this, I feel that I feel that if we break it, I think that a lot of people, and this is just my bias now, this is not set in stone by any means. I just feel that if we break it, a lot of people have drawn their line in the sand here. And that there'll be some panic selling going on and we will drop down to this next support. I hope I am wrong. I really do. So let's talk about, on the lower time frame, what we have going on here. Now I know a lot of people think that this is a triangle, and I even talked about it being a triangle. Do not think it's a triangle anymore. We do have this trend line coming down, but the reason being is you can't have a five-wave move in a triangle. And we have a five-wave move right here. So what I actually think is happening here... And if you want a more in-depth what is happening video with the whole correction, I went over that in last video. This is just an update, okay? I still think we are creating an A. This is all a B. And we have either finished the C or... The C is going to break through and come up higher, possibly to the one to one, or it's going to bonk its head on this resistance or possibly come up into it a little bit. It's probably up here to this resistance order block. Okay. If we start breaking above this 1.618, 
I am incorrect about this. And the correction coming down ended here. Which is possible. Okay, that 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 is possible. But what would happen, what we would need here is this would have to be a one. We're coming down for two here. Three would come up here. Four would find support on top of this resistance, which would now turn to support. And then five would come on up. That would be the bullish scenario. Is that the correction ended here? And that this is the start of something new. But that is possible. But I am more leaning towards this being a C wave. That has either ended. And we're going to roll over here. Or it's going to pull back and go higher and come up somewhere in this area here. So the whole key is do we break this bottom? If we can hold this area and not break this bottom, we have the chance to continue up higher here. We break the bottom and this leg being the start of something or being a bigger C wave is invalid. So that is where we stand with Bitcoin at the moment. Okay, let's move on over to ETH. On the weekly time frame, let me pull this over so my face isn't blocking it. Hopefully it's not blocking it now. On the weekly, we're holding the 50, just like we did over here, right here. What happened here is it was able to create an A, break the high B, C. This is a very bullish correction called a running flat, and then it was able to take us higher. So can it do it over here? Let's talk about it. So as it stands right now, this bottom right here would need to hold. And we're going to go down a little bit lower so you can see it more closely. Okay. To create that bullish correction, and I'm going to try my best to not make this confusing. Right here in the middle, I feel we are making some type of ABC WXY correction. The labeling doesn't matter too much. Is this going to come down further? I don't know. Most likely it will. Something of a middle correction we're making here. That point. This looks like five waves to me. So we have options. This is either an A. This is all creating a B. And we have the chance to come up here with a C. Now it's either going to bonk its head on resistance. Or it breaks through this resistance and bonks its head on this one. Or it breaks through and gets on up there higher. But the higher this goes, the better. Because the higher this goes, the connector that would be attached, because we need a connector. So basically this whole move coming down would be connected over here. It could possibly give us the higher low. And that's the bullish correction. Which actually this would have to come higher. Okay. 
Let me go ahead and take that to where it should be. So best case scenario, it breaks the high. And then we come down with a higher low. That's the bullish correction I was showing you. This is best case scenario, okay? But bearish scenario is that the C wave isn't able to get very high, okay? Gets caught in resistance. And then we still need a connector to the downside for this. Does it mean that it has to be horrible? No. Basically, you know, something A, say we are able to get to here. Say we're not. Say, say we get shut down right here. B, probably C like this to this support. Something like that. And then we can still, and I know this is a long time out, Come up again, come up again. We can create a triangle here, just like in Bitcoin. So what we're looking for here, the whole key is not to break this bottom right here. As long as we can hold this, not break it, not roll over, we have the chance of this being a middle wave and kicking off for a C to the upside. And let's hope that it gets high. Okay. Thinking if there's anything else I want to tell you. Some may be asking, well, why can't this be a wave one and a wave two? Those of you that do know Elliott wave. Well, the longer this plays around here, the less that I'm leaning wave two. And the time factor hasn't been enough time for this to be just take off bullish. But, hey, if we... Hold this bottom. This can very well be a wave one, wave two, three, four, five. Let's see what happens. This is still on the table. Nothing is invalidated until we break this bottom. So that bullish option to be really bullish is still on the table until we break this bottom. But I'm more leaning the ABC. Okay, let's move over to Maytag before this video is an hour long. All right, Maytag. Daily. As you can see, support here, support here. I'd like to see us hold this support. This is looking pretty bullish. We already have bullish divergence on the daily. This is coming down in a channel, which more leans B wave to me, but let's go over the bull and the bear. The bull would be that this is a wave one, this is all a wave two, okay? Cannot break this bottom. Absolutely no, no. And we're gonna go blasting off wave three, wave four, wave five, and it's gonna be way up there, okay? That's bull scenario. There's my little eraser, there it is. Bear scenario is that this is an A. This is more creating a B, and that's the way I'm leaning, guys. Because B waves like to channel like this. 
this is creating a B where it's going to end, I'm not sure. And then we're going to go up for a C. It could be short or it could come up pretty high. But what happens here when it creates this A, B, C in the middle, then we need a partner for this move to the downside. So the higher the C comes up, the better. Just like in Bitcoin and ETH. Okay? And we have a good chance we'd hold that support. Create a flat. And then get us out of here. Okay. Summary. We don't want to break this bottom if we want to be bullish. We roll over here. Break it. It's a bear scenario. We have a chance that this is an A wave or a wave one. Breaking the bottom invalidates the wave one. This B wave can break that bottom and still be a valid B wave. Trying not to confuse you with that, but B waves have a big range. They can break the bottom up to 130%. Okay, 132%. Okay, but I, I most likely it's going to hold this support here if it's going to be a B wave. And then we go up for C, which can be bearish and not get very high. But the whole key is breaking this bottom here. We don't want to do that if we want the C, C wave or we want this to be very bullish. This looks like it's coming down correctively to me, which leans me towards B wave. And we'll get a kick for a C to the upside. And it could be over here. Channel break will signal that the C is coming. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments. And I hope everybody has a wonderful Sunday.